I've listened to the piece. It's it's beautiful. Uh, what are you thinking? So I started on this big road trip in August. Here we go. Pandemic road trip. To see my family, to say hello and goodbye to my parents from a distance. I drove through so many big states and big places and saw so many things. And this mix of seeing people dealing with the pandemic and the politics of right now and feeling that tension, but also being in such a beautiful, big, open space, there's possibility and there's hope. I realized that I needed that after the long period of really diving inwards. was excellent uh from the music to the uh, filmmaking to the basic message of the story i thought it was really beautiful again it was kind of a a, a, a pandemic story um this cellist um i think he had to make kind of a hard trip to see his family and say goodbye to them i think someone might have been dying or something didn't really get into that <clears throat> but this fellow wrote this beautiful uh, joshua roman i think is his name wrote this beautiful piece and all the pieces of it and played it all, the cello. And he goes up to Woodenville, Washington, and, and they make it, but they make it kind of a visual uh, feast as well as a musical feast. Um, but the making of it, this is one of those uh, pieces where the making of it is quite fascinating and, and the music is so good that it, uh, it just is very enthralling. Um, uh, I just really, really enjoyed this. Uh, and uh, they didn't overdo like the, the sort of the interview stuff it was just mostly about the you know and a great tribute to the american highway which i i can wholly understand cheers i loved this visual diary of his journey to to gain perspective in the depths of the pandemic and what music resulted of that just this cross-country exploration and you know the influence on the creative process and crafting the piece that we got so luckily the, the the pleasure of experiencing. I love the backstage pass to the process of an artist. Whenever I go to a gallery, I always want to read like, what were they thinking? What were they doing? And this afforded me that opportunity, especially with everybody involved in the process, talking about the tone, the intricacies of the instrument itself, um, the inspiration, the room, the recording process. That just creates so much more richness and fullness to when you actually get to hear the piece itself. So I very much appreciated it. And I thought it was visually really well crafted as well. Quite beautiful. Very personal um, kind of pandemic time capsule for this cellist and then also for the producer that he worked with. So um, I guess this, uh, this cellist ha took a road trip and during the road trip, he was processing all of the Kind of intense emotions of the pandemic including social justice movements and all of that and then seeing and witnessing the vast and breathtaking landscapes of this country is what brought him back to a place of hope so um the piece the cello piece i think really had that sense of expansion of sort of starting small and then growing into this kind of majestic um feeling of vistas feeling of landscapes um and i appreciated how at the beginning they took some time to go into depth about the creative relationship between the musician and the producer. A lot of times when we hear music, we don't consider how impactful the music producer is in terms of ultimately what we hear as a recording. But if you're a recording artist, your relationship with your producer make or, makes or breaks the ultimate product of what you're creating and what you're recording. And if you have somebody who you have a good copacetic creative relationship with, as, as we saw in this film, then ultimately it's so much richer what you're able to create is so much richer so much um has so much more life to it than just somebody hitting record and then twisting a few knobs or changing a few levels um so i appreciated how they included that creative relationship and um and then ultimately invited us into the piece and by the time we got to the piece we had so much context for it that i think it made me really appreciate it even more. Also, I thought the editing was really cool because it's all the same guy playing cello, but he's playing it in like different rooms and different spaces. And the way they cut that together helped pull me into the musical piece in a way that I don't think I would have if I was just watching him 
play. I really enjoyed this one. I thought the way it explored the cello and uh, yeah, the relationship between the producer and the cellist was just really, uh, just really remarkable and interesting. It kind of uh, builds up this anticipation to wanting to hear the cello um, as they talk about it and how they're, you know, miking it and all the different wonderful things that go into uh, audio recording. Um, it kind of really builds up this suspense for it. You're kind of just waiting for him to play those next notes. Uh, and it really just resonates. Uh, definitely a great one. Worth checking out. Uh, this is heaven to me. <laughs> now, um, this is heaven. Uh, I don't know if you can see from my eyes, but like I was crying during that last little bit. Um, with It's just beautiful music. It's gorgeous. <laughs> it's beautifully shot. Um, I love the premise. I love this story. I love that it was filmed, that it was captured. I love everything about this. Can you tell? I'm like really verklempt. I'm very moved. I'm completely floored by this entire thing. Um... I, I want all my musician friends to see it. It is so beautiful. Congratulations to the filmmakers, to the director, to the editor, to the sound, everyone involved in sound, to the composer. It's a beautiful piece. It is a gorgeous piece. And I am a sucker for layered cello. Um, in fact, my first single on Spotify, I'm a singer, and my first singer, single on Spotify is Eight Layered Cellos and My Voice. That's why this is so moving to me, because it really, it, it's very special. Very special. Thank you for making this. It's beautiful. <laughs> 